All right, what's up, Anabolic Minds? Andrew back here um, after chest day today. Uh, it was a pretty good chest day. Uh, I'm working mainly to, to increase my bench press, so doing uh, doing some heavier weight for uh, lower repetitions, um, and then working on both a lockout of a flat bench on the on the top, as well as uh, building up my strength on the on the bottom of my press. Um, got this little late night snack here. Got some mixed vegetables, cottage cheese, mozzarella cheese, and um, and hot sauce. My taste it might sound disgusting. Uh, the truth is, it tastes pretty good, and uh, it's packed with nutrients I need at this time of night. Uh, it's only 10:15. I plan on being up for at least an hour and a half, two hours. Finish up my optics final, it's going pretty well. So, yeah, back to the workout. Um, start out with flat bench. Like I said, resistance one isn't here, so kind of sucks doing chest by yourself when you're used to doing it with someone else. But, um, did a quick warm up set at 135. Bumped up to 225, uh, just did three reps, then I bumped it up to 235, and I did three sets of three reps, and I dropped it back down to 225 and did that for four reps. And then I rest pause, so I put the put the bar back on the rack, I waited 20 seconds, and I banged down another rep. So I really wanted to get five. Um, I was really hoping I got five. Uh, if I had a spot, I would have gotten five, but... Whatever, did it by myself. That's always good. Um, one of my friends in the gym today commented on my abundance of type 2 muscles. I don't know what a type 2 muscle is. But apparently it has something to do with endurance. Because at the end of the end of everything, I, after I was done pretty much killing my chest, I decided to go uh, do some heavy dumbbell incline. So I grabbed, grabbed some, uh, started out with 80s, got 5 reps, bumped up to 85, got another 5 reps. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to try 90. And I only got 3 reps. But, um, yeah, and I dropped it back down to 80s, and I uh, got the last 5 reps, which was good. Uh, testotropin, I'm still dosing uh, 6 caps a day. Um, Depending on how tomorrow goes with deadlifts, I might bump it up to eight caps. I might keep it at six caps. If if I'm making substantial progress with increasing my lifts, there's really no no logic for me to. Uh, or there's no rationale on my part to to increase my dosage. Because um, there's there's a chance that it could it could increase my lifts even more, but there's also a chance that it won't do anything else. So the additional, uh, how much deaspartic acid is in each cap? Uh, the additional two caps every day. Uh, let's see, additional 0.8 grams. Uh, it's not might not do that much. Um, deaspartic acid is usually taken in at three grams, uh, right around three grams. Um, so increasing the dose, it might be beneficial. It might not be. I'm gonna keep it at six, six caps as long as I feel like it's it's doing its job. Uh, so that's that's that. Diet is back on point this week. Got a whole mess of sweet potatoes. That was gonna be my carbs for the week. So I'm pretty pretty pumped about that. After after tomorrow, um, besides work, I really don't have anything to do. So I'm thinking about just um, just going to the gym for an extended period of time and seeing what happens. Uh, Wednesday's usually an off day, but kind of want to uh, kind of want to lift on Wednesday. Don't know what I'll do. Uh, I might just do chest again. Uh, say why not if it's sore. I don't really care. 
day. One and a half days is enough time for me to recover anyway, uh, even if my muscles are still sore. Uh, I can hit it again after like one and a half days. Two days would be would be optimal, but so that's where I am right now. Um, this is day 18 of the log, and I think that's it. Oh, someone um someone asked me what my previous testosterone boosting supplements have been. The only one that really did anything for me was uh, was T-Force. Um, the ingredient is T-Force is in, in T-Force is uh, Fadogia, 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 F-A-D-O-G-I-A, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's in BioForge Max, uh, BioForge Pro Max. So obviously it's got some, uh, it's got some potential, does some stuff. I got some increased oil on my skin. I got oily skin. Um, it was in the winter, so there really wasn't much sense for it to be happening outside of the fact that I was taking a test booster. Uh, this was actually earlier this year. So, uh, I haven't noticed any of that with the aspartic acid. My lifts have just gone up. Uh, body composition. The last week, that's one thing I forgot to mention. Um, because my diet didn't include carbs, uh, I looked pretty shredded. Um, and I weighed in at about 169 pounds. Uh, I took a picture of myself yesterday, uh, pre and post workout. Pre, pre, the pre workout shot was was just with my shirt off, and uh, the post workout shot was well, was also with my shirt off. But it was more focused on my uh, on my back. Well, it was my back. When pre workout was my uh, my front, and seeing my abs, uh, see about four abs right now. Which is interesting, since I am bulking. Lean bulking, I guess. Uh, I like to maintain low percent body fat, so that's fine with me. Um, if I if my strength keeps increasing as it is right now, and my weight stays the same, I don't really care. I'll be strong as hell at 170 pounds for the rest of my life. I don't really care. If I can deadlift a lot, if I can squat a lot, I mean, there's got to be some theoretical point where my body can't handle it anymore. Uh, at my height and weight, and that it'll have to start increasing somewhere, weight-wise. I'm not sure, though. Is there a theoretical limit? I don't know. There are people that are 120 pounds and deadlift twice as much as me. Granted, those guys are on gear and and, uh, and orals and stuff, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Weigh in on that. Um, let's, get some, let's get some discussion stirring here. There's just... There's just, like, Big T in here. There's Big T in Judgment Day. And they're just, like, they're great. I mean, I'm not bashing you guys at all, but you guys are just, like, the only people that are active in this. I get, like, a couple of new people every day. They're just, like, hey, good job so far. Oh, I like the video logs. They're cool. And that's it. They don't have, they don't really have anything to contribute. And they're just kind of following along, which I guess is the point of the log. But, I mean, I like to make my logs fun. Uh, that's why I like to do video logs. They're fun. They give me a chance to rant. Um, I don't know. Just a thought. So if you got something to say, say it. If you want to say, Andrew, you're, you're a douchebag, go ahead and say it. I'll just tear you apart in the next video. Until then, Nico, out.